In this video, we'll show you how to create new flows using Flows Builder interface and connect an endpoint as a backend to populate Flows data. We will show you how to build flows that let users book an appointment and how the available appointments can be populated dynamically from your server so you can integrate flows with other systems or APIs. Flows Builder is a rich tool that lets you create, update, and preview flows. You can find Flows Builder in WhatsApp Manager under Account Tools, Flows in the left sidebar. To create flows, you need to verify your business, then click Start Building Flows. In the following screen, you will give the flows a name and select the relevant categories for it. You're going to select Appointment Booking Category. You can select one of the templates as a starting point for flows. When you select a template, you will see its preview on the right side and you can see how different screens look. The templates without an endpoint are for static use cases, but the templates with endpoint are for use cases where you want to populate flows data or control navigation dynamically from your backend. We will use the book an appointment template with an endpoint as we want the appointment times and locations to be dynamic. Once you create flows, you can see Flows JSON editor on the left side and the live preview on the right. This flows has four screens. Appointment is where the user will select the appointment location, type, date, time. Details is where the user will fill in their contact info and notes about the appointment. Summary will show all the details to user to confirm before submitting. Terms is a placeholder for your terms and conditions. Flows JSON is how you define the screens and components for your flows. For example, you can change the title property of the first screen to something else. Then click Run to preview the change. If you are happy with the change, we will click Save. If you make a mistake in the JSON and make a typo in the title property name, the editor will underline the error and show a hint. Also, the preview will show the error message. The data property in each screen defines the data model that will be fetched from the endpoint to populate the screen. The value in the example property is used for the preview before connecting the endpoint. The component in the screen are defined under the layout property. To make a certain component call the endpoint to fetch some data, you use an action with name data underscore exchange and the payload contains the data we want to send to the endpoint. 